So we've been talking about system archetypes. These are the uh, types of systems that recur um, in a number of environments, uh, easily recognizable. Uh, the system archetype we're going to talk about today is called eroding goals. Eroding goals are caused by a delay in the results of the actions we take to improve something. If you recall that systems operate off of feedback, positive feedback, negative feedback, and delays in the cause and effect cycles uh, between elements of the system. So in eroding goals, you start with some condition and an ambition to improve it, so some goal you're trying to get to, and there is a gap between your condition and your goal. This gap causes a, a dynamic tension. Senge represents it well in his book, uh, The Fifth Discipline, by showing a hand stretching a rubber band. And the, the tension of that rubber band pulls up on, if you will, the condition, but with the same force it sort of puts pressure to pull down the goal. So you have um, two possible things that can result. Either you can take action that will move the uh, condition towards the goal, or you can soften the goal and let it get pulled uh, down closer to your current condition. What happens in eroding the goals is that you start by taking positive action, doing the right thing, but there's a time delay between the activity you take and seeing the positive results of the action you take. Um, this time delay, this lack of uh, positive reinforcement of your action, causes a, a loss of commitment um, to the work you're doing. And to relieve the pressure, you lower your goals to reduce that tension, uh, that dynamic tension that's in play. So an example of this might be if your company releases three new products a year, and there's a goal to increase this number to six. And so there's increased investment, and the, the, the organization is moving towards increasing the capacity and capability to release six new products. But there's a delay in the positive result um, from the actions taken, the investments taken, to increase capacity. This lack of results causes those who are making the investment to lose confidence and to lose their commitment to this. And so to avoid having to make increased um, investments in their mind's eye, perhaps throwing good money after bad, they lower the goals perhaps from six to four, an incremental increase instead of a dramatic increase. The antidote to uh, the problem of eroding goals is simply setting good goals. And the setting of good goals comes uh, from a process called learning first. Study your situation, study the distance between your, your condition um, and your goal, um, and make goals that are achievable. This again ties directly to uh, learning first, learning cycles, and the EAC promoted Lambda Learning tool. If you're not familiar with uh, Lambda Learning, I recommend you investigate it. One way you can do that is to contact, contact us here at EAC. Mm -hmm.